And tell us about the Arju phone. This is the latest prototype. You just got it. It is. So this is an Arduino compatible board. If you ignore this part of it, it looks just like an Arduino. In fact, if you take the OLED display off, you can imagine that's an Arduino. It's a mobile phone with I.O. breakouts, which yeah. makes it perfect for things like remote um, data logging applications, or remote control, you could put this on a robot or on a sensor around on a farm somewhere. Um, but this is what we call a delta printer, so it works by combination of these three vertical towers mm -hmm. um, which, which move the effector in the middle. Um, and typically the, the advantage of these is that we get a taller build volume. Oh yes, we have R2s. You bet. There's this control panel there and down here is the actual computer, yeah. which is a mini ITX motherboard. Yeah, does that uh, move and uh, do yeah. all the business? You can get in the dial and can take it for a drive. Yeah, well, that's a, kind of a prototype design all right. for David, who works on movie sets, to uh, carry heavy equipment around a, a movie set. And we have more happening up in here. Robodino, here we go. Alright, as I said, there is tons of spaces in the powerhouse. This is the local hacker space, robots and dinosaurs. And I'm here with Alex McClung and he's gonna show us Alex Bot. It's four-wheel drive. Yep. It um has four DC motors under there. It's got an IMU, Kinect sensor, yep. GPS. This is the, uh, is the, that's the video coming from the Kinect sensor. Yep. Right, and that's me, you can see down in the... Yeah, it's the, using ROS, Robot Operating System. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> It's, it's a hybrid between an Ordbot and a Core XY, turns 90 degrees. He's going to be doing some reflow soldering demos here. He hasn't got much uh, working distance there. Good, there we go, we're dispensing some paste. Oh, there we go, well done. And we've got ourselves ABC News here, guys. They're uh, covering this event, and yes, camera envy. And I wouldn't mind a camera operator. Hmm. Just ran into a fan. I'm 13. 13, dude, and you're a hobbyist. Yeah, love Arduino and Raspberry Pi. So if you have a 3D printer, some building skills, then you can build your own version of it. And if enough people build you, someday my kind could take over the world. And it's pretty crowded here now, as you can see, they're uh, really starting to move in. There's somebody uh, going around with a <laughs> robot uh, base. There's a huge line out the front and they really started rocking in at... Uh, 10 o'clock, right on the dot. Woohoo! And that was uh, Bitscope advertising uh, their oscilloscopes, which we'll definitely have to check out in a minute. And huge crowd at the uh, 3D printing system stand. Anything uh, 3D printing is, of course, uh, big news. The public love it, of course. and. Uh, the kids can barely get in here, but uh, yeah, the kids just love the 3D printer stuff. I, I enjoy Maker Fair. I am enjoying Maker Fair. Many excellent shows, exhibits. Look forward to the next lot. And even your partner's enjoying it. She's smiling. Very excellent. Much. Check this out. Brilliant. Oh, what, what have you got? It's oh, it's a valve. Yeah, Nicholas made it for me. It was a oh. birthday present. Oh, that is nerd. <laughs> no, it's nerd great. Jasmine, isn't it? that. Fantastic. <laughs> well, so I'm down from Brisbane. Yeah, oh, flew down just for this. I did, yeah. Well done, that's commitment. And those guys up there are flying a little uh, micro quadcopter all the way down here over everyone's heads. It's gone now. Not that we'd be able to film it, it's one of those, you know, it's not much bigger than your hand, but uh, they were flying that thing off over all the crowd. Wow. <laughs> 
I have here a brainwave reader. I'm using this to do readings of people's brains. I'm taking that data, I'm combining it with Bureau of Meteorology data for, um, for the last four or five hours. I'm uh, putting it through a magic 3D modeling program, creating an STL file, sending it to 3D printer, creating these things. Basically, leave. So the internal structure of that is based upon the uh, readings of the brain of someone in Newcastle from about a month ago. The exterior <laughs> structure is uh, like the contours of the blades is based upon the weather um, in Newcastle. So it's a combination of those two things. And the finest in urban streetwear. <laughs> Come see us, sit down, we'll tell you how to make friends with one of these. And we've got Rob here, and he's got his homemade, what is it, his keytar? Yep, it's a keytar. We've got a toy keyboard, we've got a Guitar Hero controller part, and then, yep, brought it together, all the buttons do stuff. We've got pitch bending knobs and, uh, yeah, note selectors. Edible vitamin B12 fluorescent house. Exactly. Gold. So there's the turbine hall happening right down there and I love the clear lift and uh, there's the other part down there or one of the parts and I found yet another one there's another one hooked uh, there's another one right in the back there somewhere another section I just found this one up on the top level <laughs> Just with the so it's basically turned into... Hello! Hello! How are Hi you? guys! Wonderful! Are you having fun today? Cogs is! Hello. Cogs! He's met lots of his relatives today. Show everyone your robot dance. I don't know about that. It's the robot! <laughs> it's the dance I was trying to do! <laughs> they are enormous! And these are just um, normal... Easy go yep. up bottles. They're just yep. normal 1.25 litre. That's exactly it. We, um, we glue them together yep. and then we join them together and just yep. unscrew. Okay. So we yep. can stack them as, as big as we want right. and it just forms one big pressure chamber. And this is a hybrid so it runs uh, nitrous oxide. Um, right. It's the oxidizer with a solid fuel, a type of plastic. I think um, that thing you can send to about 25,000 feet. Um, you use liquid nitrous oxide yep. uh, and a solid fuel. In this case, it's acrylic. Um, you've got a small pyrotechnic uh, ignition in there that heats the nitrous oxide as it comes through. That also ignites that plastic. And then the, the stream of liquid nitrous oxide coming through um, combusts uh, with the plastic and that generates the hot gas for your thrust. Got it. Three, two, one. You want to try something? Yeah. Uh, it's turning, it's a yeah, so, here we go, here. Third iteration of the AV, I think, maybe about two years. So it's like, I hope it's like even two years. And we have an R2 without the head. Right, are you sleepy hollow? Hollow? Yes. This is called sleepy Does she go? It goes. It's a headless R2. That, that works pretty well actually, that's pretty smooth. Yeah. 
credit to the software guy, which wasn't me. Oh, okay, right. Give us the overview of this home homemade Segway, Mount. Right here, Dave. I'll start at the top. The joystick here is just for steering. It uses differential steering. Yep. You turn it right, it slows one wheel down and speeds the other up. Um, and if you're stationary, it drives one in reverse, one in forward. Under the platform here, yep. we can see the brains of the operation. Here we have an IMU. There is a gyro, gyro mm -hmm. and an accelerometer on this little board. Over here is an Atmel processor. Yep. It codes in, uh, in C, compiled in GCC. Yep. And in the bottom we have a motor control board. The motors are driven in an interesting way, mm -hmm. which is called uh, locked antiphase. Okay. That means that for every PWM cycle, it's being driven forward and then reverse. Mm -hmm. Forward, reverse, forward, reverse. at how 10, 8K a second. It's a remote operated vehicle, it's an open source underwater robot. And we've got ourselves an electric van, brilliant, which Sagan is checking out. Quite nice, I love it how they're all lit up, brilliant. You can see the various uh, control stuff and he's got a, a um, tablet here with individual yeah. battery pack monitoring look at that there's the individual cell voltages and uh, you can monitor that live as you're going and these are all custom made uh, cell monitoring or battery management uh, boards and there's a whole bunch of them all across that whole chassis it's a brilliant build it really is under the driver's seat we can see the motor there it is it's quite a big beast but uh, yeah there's not much else in there Oh, EV blog guy. EV blog guy, yes. that's me. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. So there you go. That was the first Sydney Mini Maker Fair. Mini my ass. It was actually pretty big. It was packed here at uh, one point during the day. You couldn't move at some of the stalls. It was absolutely amazing. And having the thing uh, throughout the Powerhouse Museum here, awesome location. Couldn't ask for something better for a... Uh, a make a fair like this brilliant the only issue was is that they had so many uh, stalls um, you know in a way like hidden away in all the nooks and crannies of the museum it was pretty easy to miss stuff I was but that was a good surprise you wander around a corner oh there's something new I didn't know about that because they didn't really have any uh, maps they were giving out you just wandered in the museum and you found stuff and it was brilliant really enjoyed my first make a fair so Hope you enjoyed the video. There's going to be several of them actually. There's my time lapse camera over there. And time lapse of uh, everyone packing stuff up. So hopefully, here it comes. Catch you next time.